Booking out. You're an actor. Do you know what that means? When you should do it? And who should know about it? I'm Nancy Name, and I've been a working actor in film and television for over 15 years. Now, I also teach actors about the industry so they can maneuver and walk the straightest path toward their goals. When you have an agent or manager, they expect you to book out in advance of any days that you will not be able to audition or shoot projects. The more time you can give your agents, the better. Your agent will usually have their own policy on when and how to book out. But putting your, your unavailable days in, a writing, in writing in an email is the norm. But let's talk about why booking out 30 days in advance is best for you. Booking out means that you are unavailable. You will not be able to self-tape or go in person to audition and you cannot shoot a project. Basically, you're on vacation or taking time off. And please don't forget to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically as an actor. Yes, you need to be available for auditions and shoots, but unless you're healthy, you're not doing anyone a favor. Burnout is a real thing as an actor. And when you're not enjoying it anymore, when you feel like you're sacrificing more than you're getting back, your attitude can really take a turn south. You're a real human being and need and deserve time away for yourself. So don't deprive yourselves from weddings or vacations or weekend getaways, sick time. Making sure you're refilling your cup with activities other than acting is important. So, okay, back to booking out. Why do you need such a long lead time? Why does your agent or manager need to know when you're not available? Remember, your agent expects you to accept all or most of your auditions. They are always working to submit you for auditions. So when they get you an audition, you need to be available. Let's look at the timeline now for how projects are cast and booked. Each project timeline is different, but for our purposes and example, let's look at a project that's on a three to four week casting time uh, for, to book roles. So week one, casting directors send out a casting notice for auditions and agents submit actors in their agency who fit those roles. Casting selects actors from those submissions they'd like to audition and then the agents notify their actors, hey, you've been selected. This can take a week. Week number two, the actor now has that audition and they've either auditioned on tape or they've gone in person and you know the casting now has it. Week number three, casting reviews the auditions and selects the few people to call back. Casting notifies the, the agencies and the agent tells the actor, you've got a call back. Now, by the way, a callback means that you've made the first cut and you're headed to the next round. This is a big win, by the way, so make sure you celebrate a little. Week number four, actors do their callbacks and usually within a couple of days, an actor is booked. So now we're in week number five. You might have a few days or a week before you report to your wardrobe fitting, which is usually one or two days before your actual shoot day. So in this scenario, your first shoot day on set is almost four to five weeks after your agent submitted you for the initial audition. So remember when I said it's important to let your agents know 30 days in advance when you're going to be unavailable to work, this is why. If your agent submits you for an audition and you wouldn't be available to, to, for the shoot day if you booked it because you're, you have a scheduled vacation and all that work and time is now for nothing. And not only did you waste your agent's time and your own time, but you've wasted the casting director's and producer's time. When an actor turns down a role they audition for, it pits, puts you and your agent in a bad position. And if you keep turning down auditions, callbacks, and bookings, eventually your agent will drop you. If you tell your agent you're booking out 30 days in advance, they mark it on their calendar. They can now decide if they submit you for an audition for a project that shoots during the week you're unavailable. Agents don't get upset when you book out. They get upset when you've wasted their time and time is money. And every available audition could go to another actor in their agency. If they submit you for that audition, that means another actor in their agency may not have been submitted. And if you don't know this, Agents only get paid after their actors shoot the film. So they don't get paid until you get paid. So if they submit you and you turn it down, they don't get paid. And no one wants to work with someone who isn't a team player. 
So when you book that vacation or that weekend out of town or when family is visiting and or you're getting married, if you do not book out with your agency with plenty of notice, they will continue to submit you as if you're available, which is what all at working actors should be doing. So take the 30 day book out as a professional policy for yourself. For myself, I book out as soon as I know I have definite plans and will be unavailable. If my agents decide to submit me for projects, even though they know I'm booked out for those dates, then it's on them to explain why I can't follow through with that project. Also, you should know there are two kinds of bookouts, soft bookouts and hard bookouts. Soft bookouts are those days you're unavailable, but if an audition pops up that's life altering, you might consider delaying or stepping away to, to audition. A hard bookout is if you're unavailable completely. Maybe you're in the mountains camping and there's no satellite connection to send it through your iPhone, or you're on your honeymoon or having a baby and decide nothing can pull you away from that special time. Oh, side note, Murphy's Law works when you schedule time off. So an audition will always pop up when you book out, but take that time off anyway. So let your agents know 30 days in advance and specify whether it's a soft or hard book out. Of course, keep your book outs to a minimum. Even a full-time corporate job doesn't want you taking vacation every month. So be available as much as you can, but don't fear booking out. You deserve time off. And your agent should respect that. After all, they take some time off too. So as you buy that airline ticket or you've scheduled that C-section, let your agent know ASAP. And when you're on vacation, be on vacation. You've earned it. All right. Have a great day and break a leg.